B, this is the ev evidence-based associate service agreement. Mr. Tyler. Yes, good morning. Back in May, the, uh, the commission approved the submission of a proposal to the CJCC to continue a request funding to continue providing the FFT services through the juvenile court. Uh, we were recently notified that we were um, awarded our full um, proposed amount, which was $458,561.28. Um, as part of that um, proposal and continuing the services, um, we will continue to use evidence-based associates to implement and, and manage that pro those program services um, for us. They work very closely with the uh, Department of Juvenile Justice and uh, Judge Counsel to help them identify the use that will be appropriate for those services and, and make the appropriate referrals. And then they will help us, um, they collect the data that uh, we need to, so we can make our, um, submit our required monthly reporting um, as part of this grant. So this uh, agreement is the same agreement that we've signed for the, um, with EBA for the past two years, with the only changes being uh, updated dollar amounts and dates to make it consistent with the new grant period. So be glad to answer any questions you might have. Any questions for Mr. Todd? Um, actually, is there anything else we could do, I guess, to um, strengthen this effort? Um, you mean you know, providing additional services other than just this particular one? Yes, as well as just to deal with some of the, the troubled youth, <clears throat> period, um, I, yeah, through this, this program. <clears throat> Well, through this program, no, sir. I mean, this is pretty pretty specific. Um, what we what we do every year is we meet with um, the judge. Miss Evans has sat in on some of those, um, and we you know we we feel like this particular program has been um, we've reaped a lot of dividends, and it's really been working. Uh, we also have a separate grant for some of the lower risk youth um, that is is basically the same same concept just in a, a group format instead of individuals um, they just graduated their first class and it was very successful so those two programs um, the judge is is very pleased with and thinks that they're making making um, you know it's he's getting a good cost benefit from it and it's making an impact um, you know statistically we can see um, you know we we've seen a dramatic uh, decrease in the number of youth that have been having to be committed um, to a, a facility, um, you know, rather than having to go to jail or to, to uh, YDC, we've been able to provide these services, and um, you know, the majority, with with very few exceptions, have been staying out of trouble. You know, once they've gone through this, they're not getting in trouble again. They're not coming back before the court. Um, so these programs are working. Now, obviously, um, there probably are there there are other things we can do. Um, you know, but as far as with this particular grant. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty specific. There's a list of about six programs um, that, you know, because the, the grant requires them to be an evidence-based program, something that, that has statistical data to prove it's worked in the past. Um, so we can't really kind of come up with our, our own program. Um, we are working on some other things, like one of the, um, the judge would like a, what they call an even reporting center, basically something for the kids to do when they get out of school so they're not just walking the streets. And uh, there is some some efforts to kind of get some funding and, and get that that moving. But as far as this particular grant, this is kind of the the best program of the ones we have we can choose from um, to use here in Lowndes County. You think we're going to receive the, the total amount? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, we've already um, received the um, yeah. They they've sent us our award letter and our award documentation. Um, so the uh, you know we may not d depending on implementation. You know. It, the the last grant, um, I think we were, the one we just finished up, we were within like one hundred and twenty twenty dollars of spending all the money. So um, so now now that we've kind of got it up and going, and it's consistent. A lot of it depends on the referrals. Um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. And with this grant, if you recall, when we requested the um, to submit it, we're actually one of the reasons we got a little more money is we're going to partner with Brooks County. And allow the the juvenile court judge over there to, to send some of those refer some of their their kids uh, you know with the communities being so close together you know some of the Brooks County kids come over here our, our kids get in trouble in Brooks County that kind of thing so we're trying to kind of reach out and extend our footprint and and hopefully that'll help um, help both of these communities and, and um, help keep some of these kids out of trouble and out of the system um, you know 
you know, what we found is putting them in jail, that really wasn't a deterrent. I mean, that jail wasn't anything to them. You know, some of them would say, hey, I, you know, I'll go do my year and I'll, they'll come back and they'll be just as bad when they got out. But we've seen a, a real impact in, you know, putting them in. And a, a lot of it, I think, has not just to do with the kids, but the fact that you're reaching the parents and the other youths in the household. So, um, like I say, this is the third year that we will have implemented this program, and it seems to have been working very well. Thanks. Any, Any other, other questions? questions? A day camp type program? No, sir. This is um, the FFT is actually one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So the the counselors that provide the FFT services that have been trained and, and um, uh, to implement the program, when the judge um, refers a youth and basically refers the whole family and says, you know, um, you're going to go through this FFT program, um, they will one of the counselors will be assigned to that family and they will actually go into the home uh, I think it's usually twice a week two you know two two nights a week and uh, and so they perform the service actually in in the home where they go to them yeah. um, so it's individual you know so, so that's he, where you pick up the parents along with that's you. right it's it's the whole family um, is involved in you know, when they sit down <coughs> okay okay thank you mr. Todd yes. let's go ahead now and move on to agenda 